The News 3 investigation. A two and a half year old drowns in the backyard pool. It's a horrific tragedy, and as you would imagine, that has left a, a local family heartbroken. It's every family's worst nightmare, I would say, and now they are speaking out only to News 3 for the very first time. Investigative reporter Margaret Cavanaugh joins us with more of their story and information that every parent needs to hear. Hi. She was sweet and feisty and lovable and she was my perfect bean, I say. Hi. They called her Bean. Happy, smart, two and a half year old Gabriella Bianchi had a special spark. Whenever I needed a happy fix, I would come over and visit little Bean. In August of 2019, her parents went to work. Her grandmother was about to take her out for the day. And I had to go to the restroom. We were going to Chuck E. Cheese, meeting a friend. In a manner of moments, Bean headed towards the pool. She loved to play hide and seek. And so I thought she was hiding somewhere and I was calling her. And then I went out back and, and I found her in my pool. I just remember her saying, Kim the baby, the baby. She was taken to the hospital, but it was too late. Bean drowned. Obviously, it's a huge loss. She was such a great little girl. And it's been really painful. The CDC says more children between the ages of one and four die from drowning than any other cause of death except birth defect. For every child who dies from drowning, another eight receive emergency department care. Most accidents happen in swimming pools. It's not like you see on TV. They don't splash and yell. It's a very silent death. Coming up, hear more about Bean's story and the message that she wants every parent to hear. In Virginia Beach, Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.